Hello, I'm Cal Courtney, and I am with the MacMaster.tk. The MacMaster.tk, your guide to being awesome at Mac. Anyway, today we're uh, I'm gonna be making a video on how to get rid of the very annoying theater mode photo thing. I'll show you what I mean. See this? So you can't like interact with what's behind. You have to exit out of it. Well, it should normally look like this. You click on it, and it takes you to here. Now that's what's supposed to happen, but it doesn't because for some reason, Mark Zuckerberg thought it would be funny to piss everyone off and give us this. So today I'm going to be showing you how to stop that. Now this is very different depending on what internet browser you have but for, I'm going to show you it on Google Chrome, Safari and Firefox and right now I'm going to show you Safari. So Safari is really easy. All you've got to do is go to go to Google and type in S-I-M-B-L download and press enter go into the see you later dot net and come over here and um, download symbol for whatever um, OS you have that's what I'm trying to say so I have Snow Leopard, so I'm going to download .zip, click clear, well you don't have to, but I'm going to. Open it up, open up the folder, and install symbol. Now I already have it installed, but I'll just run through the installation process anyway. I just click continue, install, type in your password. I've just spelled it wrong. Press OK. Wait and click close. And then it's done. Now I recommend you um, drag this folder to your applications folder so that uh, if you need to uninstall it for any reason, you can. The next thing you're going to want to do is go back to Google and type in Grease kit download click on the first one which should be 8p.info and it'll bring you to this beautifully made website it's nice and simple I like it scroll down to download and click on grease kit 1.7.dmg it will mount it for you come in here Open a, a finder window, just anywhere. Go to tilde, so like your home folder, mine's CocoaPops149, it really doesn't matter where yours is. Library, application support, symbol, plugins, and drag in greasekit.bundle. Now all you've got to do is quit Safari and open it again. Now you may have noticed the difference in your Safari window which is up here in the menu bar this grease kit menu. Now here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go to userscripts.org press enter and in search look for Facebook photo Theater Killer, press enter, and it will be Facebook Photo Theater Killer for Grease Monkey, even though we don't have Grease Monkey, but open that and click install, and it'll bring you to this coding place, and it will ask you whether you want to install it, just click install. Go into your Grease Kit menu, make sure that it's ticked. Go to Facebook, try and click on an image, it'll at first show you that and then it will suddenly change 
to normalness, which is brilliant, and you don't have to deal with the annoying theater mode. You're welcome, that's Safari. Let's move on to Chrome. Okay, so here we are in Google Chrome, and again, it opens a theater mode, just like in Safari. Google Chrome is possibly the second easiest way to stop this, okay? Just make a new tab, or not, just go. Go to userscripts.org, just like in Safari. Type in Facebook Photo Theater Theater Killer. I spelled theater wrong. Press enter. Click on the first one, Facebook Photo Theater Killer for Grace Monkey. Click install. At the bottom, click continue. At the top, click install. You're going to need to restart Chrome and then do it. Next, we're going to move on to hmm, Internet Explorer or Firefox. I think I'll go for Firefox next. Internet Explorer last. Give me a second. Okay, so here we are in uh, Firefox. Uh, same thing happens again. Theater mode just pisses everyone off, doesn't it? So, in Firefox it's a little harder than um, Google Chrome. I mean, it's easier than Safari. You only need to download one thing and it's not that hardcore, but um, what you're going to want to do is go into Tools, Add-ons, go to Get Add-ons, and search for Grease Monkey. Yes, that's the thing that you've been seeing for ages. So basically come down here, click Add to Firefox, give it its time, click Install Now. Do you guys be surprised if I told you that I'm winging this and I haven't been on Firefox in seven months or something longer? So it'll restart automatically and it'll tell you that one new add-on has been installed and it'll bring you to the Grease Monkey page, but this isn't where you want to be. You want to go to userscripts.org again. Once again, search for Facebook Photo Theater. Uh, don't even type killer, it'll probably come up anyway. Facebook Photo Theater Killer for Grease Monkey. Click on that. Click Install. Give it a second. Click Install again. It'll tell you that it's been installed successfully. Now, because I'm a worry, a worry kid and I don't want to spend too much time, I'm going to restart Firefox. And I'm going to go in and open it again. I'm going to close this tab, come into one of my photos, and it worked perfectly. Uh, next of all is last and to be honest, in my opinion, least, is Internet Explorer. Give me a second, I gotta download that now. Right, so Microsoft's a dick and uh, made the Internet Explorer for Mac terrible. I actually have never seen it before, but look at this. This is, this is ugly. Look at that. Ugh. Why would anyone use this? This isn't even supported by Microsoft anymore. Microsoft just went screw it and didn't finish making it. But um, I can't do this Facebook thing because if you go to facebook.com and this thing, that happens, which is really random and weird. So what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing that you would do in Internet Explorer in Safari. Okay? So... Usually, you would. Damn it, Microsoft. Usually, you would open your photo and it would have the theater mode like that, which, once again, we hate. Now, 
Unfortunately, in Internet Explorer, there's no way to access codes or anything. Well, there is, and it's called IE7 Pro if you want to go there, but uh, it has a serious lack of developers, and it's not great, to be honest. So, um, the best thing you can do, it, and the only thing you can do, is when you're in theater mode, come up to the URL at the top of the page and remove the AND theater, and press enter. And there you go, and that's all you can do. But as soon as you go to a different image, it'll still be in theater mode, and you're going to have to remove it again. Uh, I think that's it all, so uh, thank you and goodbye.